Hey guys, it's Erica, and for today's video, I am doing a review on the ColourPop Femme Rosa collection that they came out with. Um, I know that this collection has been out for probably a month or so, and I just now am getting around to filming this video, but I have been crazy busy, and yeah, so I hope that you guys still watch this video, even though it's like... I don't know, like a month too late, but whatever. I still wanted to film this. So here is the video. I did a little tutorial on this eye makeup and I used the palette that came in the collection and it has the most beautiful packaging ever. It has roses all over it. I will do a close up here. And that's what the packaging looks like. The It did come a lot smaller than I expected. Um, the shadows are very small, um, but it was only $12 or, yeah, $12 I think. I'm going to put it on the screen, but I think it was $12. Um, this is what the inside looks, looks like, um, like I did with the front view. I will do a close-up of the, the whole thing, like open and all of that. Um, but, yeah, so the, these are the 12 eyeshadows that come in here. It is just gorgeous. I love all of the colors in here. I may not use all of them, but I do love them. This is the back. It just has the name of every single um, shade that's in here. I just think the packaging is gorgeous. It's very travel friendly, like very, for the price, it could be a little bit bigger, but it is $12 for this little 12 shadow palette, a dollar a piece, not bad, and it's very travel friendly. So, um, I will insert swatches of all of these. They have, let me see, does it tell you? Okay, so they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven metallic colors, one satin color, and they have four mattes. So a pretty good variety of um, like options for you. I will say that these um, shadows definitely shed a lot, um, if that's the right word that I'm looking for, um, but... Yeah, or they have a lot of fallout. That's the word I'm looking for. They have a lot of fallout when you're using them, um, but it's nothing like excessive or anything like that. And for the price and the packaging, can you really complain about it? Probably not. Um, so I really like that. This is the eye look that I came up with with the palette. Um, I think I could have. You, you can definitely play around with this. Like it's definitely a versatile palette. Um, I do like the look that I came up with, but I would probably do it a little bit differently. Um, for like everyday wear, this is more of like, not everyday, but like, when you want to get a little fancier. Um, and they have a, I believe it's a highlight and contour palette, or highlight and face powder palette, that I believe is like $16, and then they have, um, single eyeshadows, I think, and, um, lipsticks. So I grabbed one of the lipsticks and since I got the palette when it first came out, they had a um, deal going on where if you spent over $25 then you got um, a free lipstick and I got the free lipstick and the lipstick that I purchased is an ultra satin one 
and it's in the shade Misses. And I thought it was a very versatile shade that I could wear on an everyday basis if I wanted to. Um, and I got this ultra glossy lip in the color Polished. And I will have swatches of these as well. for free with my purchase so maybe this was more than $12 you know what I'm just gonna put the prices on here because I am not sure um, so I'm going to put misses on right now all right so misses is like a pinky bronzy hints of gold in there I don't know if it's really picking up on camera it looks like it's picking up more on the pinkier cor corally side um, but it is definitely more of like a pinky bronzish type of color and I really do like this color I don't know that I would wear it every single day but it's definitely a very wearable color so with um, this color I am actually going to put on the ultra glossy lip on top of it it looks like this it's a very bronze metallic color um, I don't really wear lip gloss too often but I thought I would for this video okay I don't think I like it that direction like on top of the lipstick but I don't know some people might be able to you know pull it off I don't think I'm one of those people but hey if you can do it girl go for it I think that if I was to wear this lip gloss it would definitely be on its own um, not really with anything else or if I paired it with the same similar color maybe um, but overall, I think that the lipstick, four and a half out of five. Because it's not the exact shade that I was look, like hoping I was going to get, but it's definitely a really nice shade. The ultra glossy is like a two and a half, three out of five. I don't, I don't wear lip glosses, but it is a very, very beautiful shade. Also with the packaging of these, they come with this rose gold, um, like extra piece I don't, ribbon I guess um, and then for the palette 5 out of 5 phenomenal um, also just an FYI for you the shadows do kind of they blend very well they are so smooth and they just blend but the thing is that they blend so well that they kind of blend into each other which means you kind of lose some of the color from the last shadow that you put or the first shadow that you would put on compared to the second shadow but if you know how to blend super well and you're like a skilled person or even if you're just kind of like me where you like to experiment and pick up your skills and stuff I definitely think it's a very good palette to pick up so five out of five for this palette I would give it five out of five just for the packaging honestly because I think the packaging is just gorgeous okay like I could stare at this all day and like be happy so um, I definitely recommend going out and purchasing this palette and um, I mean I could have lived without the lips the lip gloss and the lipstick but I'm glad that I picked up one of the lipsticks and the palette together and yeah, so if you haven't already picked up this palette or even their other palettes, um, I highly recommend them for the price and for the quality. And yeah, so if you guys want to continue watching on to the tutorial and how I accomplished the look that I have here with the Re the Femme Rosa palette, then just keep on watching.
yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button down below on your screen so you can get notified of more videos that are coming your way soon on my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!